Oh God, you can do this Josh, be brave. I'm gonna get quite real and vulnerable with you guys today. So just a pre-warning, this video is going to be raw and emotional. I might cry, you might cry, we both might cry. I'll get to the point, at some point, I stopped making gains. As you may witness, observe, exhibit A in front of you, this arm, yeah. You can scroll back a few years, watch some of my other videos, I do that in some of them, and the arm's like roughly the same size, so not made any gains. That's how I judge things, it's not really. Anyway, I wanted to address this for two main reasons. So the first reason is that it's probably not okay to have a fitness YouTube channel and make content such as bulking series videos or videos focused on how to make gains yet not actually make any yourself at least not without giving the people some kind of explanation because at some point people are gonna be watching it and be like joe's doing his third bulking series but when's he gonna start making a gain man not us joe you've been the same size for five years lad what's gone on please explain the second reason the main reason really i was kind of joking about the first one it might help other people to avoid some of the mistakes that I made, yeah, to uh, navigate around the pitfalls, the pitfalls, the navigate around the pits and not make the pitfalls that I fell into. That doesn't, this definitely, definitely doesn't make sense, does it? You know what I'm trying to say. I suppose actually there's a third reason, which is that some things are gonna be inside of your control and some things are gonna be outside of them. And I think a large part of being at peace in life generally <laughs> is, having an accurate idea of that so you know what to blame yourself for and what to accept and just get on with your life and so i want to talk a little bit about that as well first i think i will just go through a very brief physique timeline for anyone who hasn't watched videos before or anyone who wants their memory refreshing right let's watch me make a few gains then not make any gains for a long time all right, I'm starting at 2012 because this isn't a transformation video. It's kind of the opposite. Obviously, I didn't start out like this. I'd been lifting for about five years just to get to this point, but I'm more interested in showing you where the gains stopped. Anyway, 2012, looking decent. 2013, looking better than 2012. This is at Body Power next to Ryan Terry. Obviously, he's made more gains than me since then. 2014, classic I beat the balcony photo. 2015, still making some gains, I think. Pictured here next to a young Rob Lipset. 2016, pretty solid. Maybe some gains again, hard to say. 2017, if there are any gains from 2016 to 2017, it is barely noticeable. I do think this was up there with my best ever physique though, just from a combination of size and leanness. 2018, this is probably the peak in terms of size. I'd say bigger than 2017, but this is where the gain train sadly stops. Another from 2018 looking similar here. 2019, obviously still sick like, but probably no gains since 2018. 2020, again, probs no gains. And 2021, yeah, just no gains forecast. So the first reason that I stopped making gains is because I did cardio. Never do any cardio whatsoever. That's not really it. The first reason, probably the main reason, and one that is wholly 100% my fault, is simply that I spent too long either getting or trying to stay lean and not enough time bulking or in a gaining phase on that long slow methodical gain and so if i'd have spent more time bulking i am a hundred percent sure i would now be speaking to you whilst filling up more of the screen how much more i'm unsure but probably something quite significant to be honest now of course having my career if you can call it that, online, centered around getting likes and views on YouTube and Instagram has certainly played a part in that, although it makes me seem, I don't know, it makes me seem something. It's not great to admit, but you know, social media has certainly been a big part of the motivation for me to get and stay lean. Now, I'm not trying to be like, cry me a river, do you know what I mean? I don't want you sympathy because it's a very small price to pay for being able to make youtube videos for a living right i'm not complaining by any means <clears throat> and i'm also not saying that it's absolutely 100 percent necessary to like be shredded all the time if you are a little budding young up-and-coming youtuber right however 
even if your content is the best it can possibly be. If you upload that same video twice, once with you looking shredded in the thumbnail, and once with you, you know, looking like a flump, then the non-flump thumbnail will certainly do better every time. Reason number two for why I stopped making gains. Did I reach my natural limit? Am I only benching 10K a side? We'll never know. The answer is no, I certainly did not reach my natural limit. and I'm not even gonna entertain that idea because I'm 170 pounds, give or take, right? I sometimes get up to like 180 when I'm a bit fluffier at the height of 5'10". Now, if that is my natural limit, then I'm gonna submit a formal complaint to my parents for just cursing me with less than ideal bodybuilding genetics, right? In other words, I don't think that's my natural limit. And also, if we're gonna follow on from the last point, if I'm about to say that bulking for longer would have led to more gains, then by definition, I cannot be at my maximum gains. Therefore, I could say it, but it would be an excuse and it would be inaccurate. Thousand. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a deep burn. Oh, it's so deep. But Joe, maybe you're just not training hard enough. Maybe that's why you stopped making gains. Maybe you've got to train insane or remain the same. Maybe you've got to, to make a gain, you've got to refrain from being sane. Now I get it, this might be a legitimate concern. You might actually think that this is the reason why. Uh, you might be right, but I don't think you are, to be honest. And now, there is always a crowd of people out there who think that just simply training harder is the answer to everything. I mean, I do that because usually it's typed. And that if you're not being sick or bleeding out of your face at the end of a training session, then it obviously wasn't hard enough. However, if you look at the actual research into how hard you need to train, and by that I mean, uh, how close to failure you need to take your sets in order to facilitate hypertrophy. And then also at the number of sets or weekly volume that you need to take to that aforementioned intensity level, if we can call it intensity, then I'm pretty satisfied, you know, that this isn't the reason, this isn't what it's holding me back. I would say I take all of my sets to within four reps from failure, probably 80% of them to within two reps from failure and also a large proportion of them to within one rep from failure and then a few here and there to zero as in actual failure right and by all accounts that seems to be enough so could I train harder probably would it make a difference maybe not it might just be like pretty negligible so I don't think that's it mate let's move on so maybe at the ripe old age of 30 and a half, I'm just old and my test levels have declined to a point where I'm no longer able to make gains. So I don't think that is a legit reason. Although my test levels certainly won't be at their peak, which tends to happen in your late teens or early 20s, the decline from that peak throughout your 20s and even your 30s is very gradual. It's not really until your 40s or mid 40s that that decline starts to speed up. And you can also look to examples, right? There are plenty of people out there who continue to make gains well into their 30s and beyond, naturally, I might add. So it does look like I'm actually running out of excuses. One thing that I do think has actually held back my physique in the last few years particularly is a few injuries. So mainly the bicep tendinopathy that I've been experiencing for about four years now on and off. And that has stopped me from doing any kind of rows or pull-ups at anywhere near full capacity. And I haven't done an actual bicep workout or even a working set for you know as long as I can remember now. Now I'm fortunate that I've still been able to focus on presses and leg exercises and everything else, but I do think that if I was able to train back and biceps properly, it would have had an impact on my physique. Now some of this is just bad luck, but I also do think that I probably could have been a bit more careful over the years and reduced my injury risk more than I did. Actually, I thought my bicep was fully healed and then I actually tweaked it again on my first session back after I just got back from Ibiza in 2019. And so 
I have a sneaky suspicion that I probably just wasn't ready for that session. I was probably tired and I was probably a bit overly keen to just get back to the gym after I'd had a bit of time off. Now I can't say for sure that it wouldn't have happened anyway, but I do have my suspicions, so I probably need to take a bit of a responsibility for that. So the takeaway point is just don't go straight from the plane to the gym when you get back from Ibiza, because you might snap your shit up. You'll miss a portion of gain-making opportunity. You close the window like, like I did. This is like, I feel like I'm presenting on Blue Peter or something. <laughs> all right, so I think really above all, the main reason why I stopped making gains is because I reached the point where I just don't need to be that much bigger. Like, it'd still be nice to me, it's still a nice idea, but I don't have this burning desire to have more lean muscle mass. I think I'm at a point where I just looked at myself and I was like, you know what? That's enough, like, and I'm still training as if to make gains and, and everything, but when you're not like super highly motivated and you don't have this like need to be bigger, then I think you probably don't cross all your T's and dot all your I's. And so that's my final reason. Because I'm already massive, mate. Right? Jordan Lenny is my hero.